getting a better look now at the damage this morning after a man was arrested accused of setting a church on fire in San Jose. Yeah, Crump for Sarah Stinson following the story for us live in San Jose. Sarah, good morning. That's right, Daria James, we're live here at the church where this fire started. There's still uh, tape all along it. This is the St. Paul's United Methodist Church, and we know that a man was arrested for arson, arrested, suspected of starting the fire here. You can kind of see even on the roof, there are uh, still some areas where the firefighters had to break in and allow that smoke to come out. Let's also take a look real quick at a map so you can get a good idea of where we are are standing and this is on South 10th. We are right by uh, San Jose State and so very close to the campus, just blocks away. And this church uh, caught fire yesterday afternoon and they got the fire under control. Immediately, witnesses told fire crews that they saw the suspect, they saw the person they believed started the fire and that's why they were able to quickly get on it and arrest the person they believe started the fire. Now, they, the church did post on on Facebook and they said they believe that the person who started it is dealing with mental illness. They said we did not recognize him. He has not been in worship and he is not a known client of the Front Door Communities, which is a uh, organization here for people uh, in need. Now the sanctuary, they say it, it did have some major damage here, at least some substantial damage. So they are going to hold worship outdoor on the side yard this Sunday. So keep that in mind if you do go to church here but that they're going to keep per, uh, pushing forward with church service even though it caught fire so um, it looks like they're gonna it's gonna take some time to rebuild but it seems like they're still going to have worship now we're still waiting on information about the uh, arson suspect we know that person's behind bars but we don't know their name or anything like that so stand by this morning we're gonna be in contact with police for now I'll send it back to you in the studio Okay, thank you very much, Sarah. 5.07 is the time and still ahead on the Crown.